All right, guys, so it finished updating everything. So if you go to File, Settings, uh, Project YouTube Videos, Project Interpreter, you should be able to see that it's pointing to YouTube Clone, and we should see Boto 3. Okay, so there it is. So cool, we're good to go. So I'm just going to make a new Python file, and let's call it, um, what should we call this? Let's call it Image. Um, processor because this is going to process images from S3 and add them to a mosaic data set. So, first, let's uh, just import Boda 3. Uh, we're going to need to import ArcPy. And we need to Basically, the, what we need to do in Boda 3, we have to figure out how we can connect to the S3 bucket. So let's Google um, Boda 3 uh, list objects in bucket. That's what we need to do. So I'm going to click here. And yeah, this is what we need to do. So we need this. So just copy this, import Boda 3, and then we need to set up this Boda 3 resource. So just paste that. And then we need to say let's see here. Sorry. I'm just I'm doing this on the fly. Yeah, this is everything we need. Just copy all that. I'll put this in the description. So, and then also import archive. All right, so the bucket name is, if you remember, it's this. All right. Um, so you can see, this is just basically like initializing this S3 object, I guess. Um, and then we're saying, we're setting a bucket to point to a particular bucket, and now we're just looping through that bucket. So let's just run this, and with any luck, this will just work. Fingers crossed. Oh, unable to locate credentials. This is probably because we don't have any credentials, and we're using that no signed key thing. So let me Google Boto3 no signed request. So yeah, can I use Boto3 anonymously? So that's what we want to do. So this is with Boto3 client. Disable signing. Hmm. Let me try this. I've actually never done this before. Let me just try this. I usually have an account associated, but I'm curious to see. Let's put ArcPy up top. All right. Let's try this. No, unable to locate credentials. Oh, you know why? It's because I didn't do this right. We defined the, basically did this twice. So this needs to say S3 and put this under here. All right, let's try that. Sorry guys, first time I've been doing this. There we go, sweet. 
So we are in good shape here. So this is literally just listing everything. So you can see it's listing everything from the, from the 2002 bucket. Then it's going to move on and list everything from um, the other bucket. So if I do AWS, let's actually go back to uh, where's that, that New Jersey thing. This. If we list this. spelled it wrong. So what Bodo is doing, it's recursively listing everything. Um, so we need to whittle it down to a prefix. So I think the way you do that is put it in here. So let's just say, I, th oh, I can't remember. Um, sorry for all this Googling, but this is this is what it's, how I usually figure things out. So Bodo 3 uh, limit S3 to prefix. Um, I think this, um, here we go. Prefix equals prefix. Yeah, I knew it was something like that. So let's put that in there and then make a variable called prefix and set it equal to in quotes. Um, so it's going to be 2015. 2015 slash. And I'm going to go back to here where we constructed it and we want cog. So 2015 slash cog. All right, and then slash. And with any luck, that'll print only the files that are in 2015 COG. Oh, it's probably because I said bucket objects dot all. Um, let's try just getting rid of that. No, bear with me guys, we're getting close. Filter, we have to say filter. There we go. All right, so you can see we're in pretty good shape now. We uh, were able to loop through in Python. We have ArcPy imported. So now you can imagine we're just going to say in this next line, ArcPy dot add raster to mosaic data set, and we're going to give it this. Um, so we do need to construct the path a little bit more, but um, it should be smooth sailing from here on out, fingers crossed. So uh, let's, let's tackle that in the next video.